hand over. Boxing at the moment, yeah, good. Full range, perfect. Yeah. Share from your cape. Who are you? I'm Superboy. <laughs> nice, step three. Two. This guy here is Ed. He's my personal trainer while I'm out in Sydney. He's here to make sure I don't go back to England looking like I've just eaten Australia. The plan is today for all three of us to head to Bondi Beach. We are going to do some kind of coastal walk that lots of you guys have recommended to us. Have you eaten all your toast up, Superboy? Yeah. Good boy. Now you can have really strong powers and run really fast. Mummy, can I have a tiny bit of chocolate now? What, for breakfast? Um, no, for, no, in my mouth. <laughs> Cheeky little thing. Before he did this, he, uh, he used to work in Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Extracting yeah. sensitive yeah. information yeah. out of jihadists. Yeah. Okay, all right, Jesus. He absolutely destroyed me. Yeah, there's a rainbow wonderful. We need to sing out. Oh, that's the top one. We are in the world famous Bondi Beach. Bondi Beach, everyone. And it is bloody freezing. Yeah, it is. It's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. I've got my winter jumper on. <gasps> I've got goosebumps like all over my body. Grayson's having a nap, so Hannah and I are having a few minutes to just chill out. We basically walked around the coast of Bondi Beach and battled through so many tourists. With a buggy. With a buggy and a drone and multiple lenses and cameras. And our beach stuff. And all our beach gear. And a picnic. Next year, I genuinely think we're going to have to employ a caddy because we, we haven't got enough limbs left to carry anything else. Sometimes I wish that Steph was the kind of guy that could get on board with just relaxing in the sun. <laughs> I'm trying to like make the most of Gracie's nap by just dozing off in the sun because it's not too hot. But Steph can't resist like fidgeting with his gadgets and like setting up all his cameras and stuff. Like he just can't sit still. It's so funny. Whereas I'm literally like dead on the beach. <laughs> Some uh, footage playing with Gracie and stuff on the beach, but he slept the whole time we were at the beach, so we are now leaving because our car parking is going to run out. I think we might try and top it up a little bit so that we can stay a little bit longer, but we'll see how it goes, see how grumpy the little one is when he wakes up from his really, really, really long nap, which I have relished fully in because I feel like as a mum, you kind of cherish those like half an hour very very rare slots you get every year where you might get to sit in the sun for half an hour while you're kidnapped they're like gold dust so i'm pretty happy right now
Maybe there might be a magical kingdom behind it. Fairies and elves. City because I've got Dave working in the house with the agency today. The agency have uh, moved offices just somewhere around the corner. It's far bigger, so enough room for me to work in house with them a bit more. To speed the process along, I came to fame. That was the first time since we've been out in Australia that Gracie has actually played with other children, and it was really nice to see because for a while I thought that he was kind of going into himself a little bit by not wanting to play with the other children. But this time he found two little boys to play with, and they were all like playing with their little trucks and their cars and stuff so it was really cute and then he had a massive meltdown and we left <laughs> but we've just picked up a few little snacky bits from the supermarket and we're gonna head to the beach and just chill on the beach for a bit hey guys wow these are fancy offices yeah how you doing yeah. for pleasure oh the sea is so I cold today <laughs> People are kind here. People are kind to each other. Just now, on the boat, I was a dollar short for a packet of crisps and the guy just let me off. There's been so many times we've got on buses and we've not had the right change and they've just let us on for free when they didn't have to. And it really highlights how opposite we are in the UK to that and how like, just mean to each other we are. And, and that's, that's, to me, gonna be the hardest thing about going back, is that I'm going back to somewhere where people are just, quite disdainful and it's sad that we have to be like that I don't know if this is just like a, a, a cheap excuse but I think the Sun might be a lot to do with it being in a warm climate I mean you know that people in the UK are just a lot nicer when it's a bit warmer and maybe that's what it, maybe that's just what I want to think it is I hope it's that but yeah that's what I'm gonna miss most about leaving this place is just the warmth and the kindness and how just nice people are to each other and they don't need to be but they are and I think any Australians watching, I think you should be so proud of that. Anyway, let's go and see the gang. I just wanted to get it off my chest. <laughs> hey. Daddy has got a toy. Wow, where'd you get him? I bought him from from the from the toy shop. Oh you lucky boy. Why did you get to go to the toy shop? Have you been a good boy all day? Yeah. Ah, oh, give me a kiss.
Good morning, guys. I'm going to be super excitable and over-animated when I'm practically dead inside because it makes me loads of money off naive 12-year-olds who are too stupid to realise that I'm just here for the cha-ching. Good morning, guys. Gracie and I are out and about very early this morning because we are heading to a kids' music class. I met one of our lovely viewers in the park yesterday and she told me about a local kids class so we thought we were going to check it out this morning and then I think we might grab some food from the market and go and play catch on the beach. That's the plan anyway, we'll see what happens. Hey, hey, how you doing? How's it going, Good night, how you doing? up with music class I'm so glad that I took Gracie because he really really enjoyed it and he joined in with everything he didn't want to go when we first got there because he thought I was dropping him off at nursery but he ended up really enjoying himself so it was good and now we're just gonna hit the supermarket and grab a couple of bits to take with us on the beach I'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes check this out look at that that is so cool which one do you want the minty one, the minty one. Yeah. What do you say? Gracie, what do you say? Good boy. About 30 minutes ago, Gracie had the biggest, biggest meltdown on the beach ever. Like, it was serious. It was so embarrassing. I felt like everyone was looking at me. Um, the only thing I could do was just to take him away. Um, so I took him off the beach and we sat down on a rock and I just tried to speak to him to calm him down and then I took him for a walk in the buggy and he's fallen fast asleep so I think it must just have been him being tired after music class because he doesn't normally go to a class in the morning here so he doesn't get that tired I guess but man it was stressful it was so stressful um, so he's fallen asleep now so I'm going to take advantage of his napping and I've pulled up on the side of the beach. He's in the buggy, all shaded. I'm just going to relax in the sun. Oh, that was so stressful. Lovely beer. That's just what I needed. Thank you. Good to see you. Oh, you're very brown. I'm in my pants. Sorry. You're in your pants. Because <laughs> it was too hot when I got in. Cheers. I'm in my pants drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> You've truly let go. Hey Grace, see you chewing on the carrot there. How's that working out for you?
I'm back with my personal trainer Ed today. Here's a little known fact about Ed. He uh, invented waterboarding. <laughs> Spicy one. Oh, this is mine. I feel like this isn't mine. Because there's no peanut on it. Hang on, look for chili because mine Yeah, mine's chili. got chili flakes right, on it. Swap. I was right. You should listen to your wife more often. <laughs> We've come to the beach today. I'm going to try surfing. I think I'm going to be pretty bad at it though. I'm too tall for surfing. You need a low centre of gravity. That's a bad excuse. And I'm really tall. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to try it. The first time I surfed was with Hannah. And that was about an hour after she found out Grayson was growing inside her. And we had a big argument, didn't we? I can't remember what we argued Yeah, because I kept leaving you, apparently, to try and surf. And I just found out I was pregnant. I was like, what the Yeah, and you were freaking out because I was leaving you. We had a big argument in the sea, in the cold Irish sea. Also, I'm scared of deep water as well, so mm. not the best activity for me to do. The guy's like, I wouldn't go out and out there, that's a bit, tri that's a bit tricky. I was like, mate, I know what I'm doing. The thing about surfing, right, is that you get seawater in your eyes and it really hurts. So, surf with goggles. That's what I'm talking about. Basically, you paddle out as hard as you can and then a big wave just knocks you off your board and it washes you back into shore and then you paddle out again and a big wave knocks you off. <laughs> and you just do that over and over again. Sounds fun. It's horrific. I don't know what to do, like I should go out there again and keep practicing but it's just so hard that I can't do it. I did pretty much get one of the like pro boards because I didn't want to get one of those horrible spongy things that like kids use. I had these big plans of like having all this like having like a GoPro on my chest and a drone flying up there and then I was gonna surf into the shore and get these crazy nice shots but it's a disaster. It's like a clumsy dad just falling over and tumbling in the sea. There's no romance to that whatsoever. It's just embarrassing for everyone. I swear some people are just getting up and walking off the beach out of embarrassment for me. Some of your lollipops. But, but if I eat it all up, you have an extra. Then, then I have another one. You have a gift. Then, then you have a big one. You, you have, you have the same. Okay.
you sleeping there tonight? Yeah. Oh. Well, close your eyes then. Okay, good night. Magic to a stone. <laughs> <laughs> Magic to a stone. Hey guys, <laughs> thanks for watching this week's video. We have spent the whole day at the beach today. It's like half past eight and we just got home. We only left because it was getting dark and it was like the nicest, most chilled out day we've had wicked, so far. I think it was my favourite day so far. It's kept it really simple here. and it's just nice just to be just chilling at the beach all day. Yeah. The, the, the whole like surfing disaster wasn't the best. It wasn't but, so shabby for me because he was napping, so I was yeah. just relaxing on the beach. I don't know why you did that to yourself. You should have just relaxed on the beach I know with I me. Um, tomorrow I've got a really intense day in the office working on one feed, so I need to obviously edit this week as well, which I'm really behind on, so we're not going to film tomorrow. I've got an intense day, as I do every day. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to film tomorrow. I'm just going to edit all day tomorrow. Um, so we're probably um, going to end this um, vlog here, guys. Are you going to say goodbye now? to the guys? Goodbye. Say good night. <laughs> good night. Um, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week. We will see you next week. See you all next Have week. Have a lovely week, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh, sorry, we're so tired. By yeah, the way, sorry today. about my hair. Yeah, <laughs> we are bedraggled and just exhausted. But yeah. But um, very happy. Very happy indeed. I don't want to leave. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about that next week. See you later, guys. Bye. 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 Bond the bed, here we go. Bond the bed, here we go. Bond the bed.